Eden. And today we are going to do Thread the Needle, a really beautiful shoulder stretch that opens up this whole shoulder girdle. My mom, she will not do yoga with me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that she refuses, but she won't. And she will do this stretch. So let's do it together. <laughs> let's get started. Come on to all fours, please. <sighs> okay. So from here, curl your toes under so your shins are lifted. And then come to fingertips on your left hand. So you have a little lift. <sighs> Some space. Keep the fingertips, okay? No flat hands. It's just so your shoulder has more opportunity to go up. Turn your right palm to face up towards your face and then stick it under your left arm and put your right ear down onto the ground. Now, lift this left elbow. Don't let this elbow sink down because you're gonna lose the stretch. You wanna keep it up like that. Now send your left leg out towards your right hand. Keep it on the ground and that's your kickstand. That's gonna help support you here so that you don't tip over towards your back body. You can also pivot the right foot towards the left foot a little bit for more stability. Okay. Keep all of that. Now, begin to roll your back towards the right, towards the ground behind you. Some of you might be able to take these fingertips and move them towards the top of your head or even behind your head. Breathe slowly and go slowly. Feel that belly fill up with the breath. Your neck only goes as far as your shoulders go. So you're keeping that head in line with your spine as you breathe. Now, if you want to add on to this, you're just going to take the right hand and grab a hold of your left foot if that's available. Try and keep your head steady. I know you might want to look and see what the heck is she doing? <laughs> but try to feel it in your body more and listen to my words or come out to take a peek. A few more breaths. Feel that breath back to front, belly to lower back. Two more. And as you inhale, unwind, land the hand back in front of your face, draw the knee back in, come on to all fours. Second side, come to fingertips on that right hand. If you feel dizzy or unsure, feel free to pause. Take a child's pose. Turn your left palm up so it faces your face and take it under your right arm. Left ear down onto the mat. Send your right leg out to the right and maybe pivot that left foot a little bit to the right. Keep that right elbow up. And then maybe walk the fingertips back if your body allows more space today. Just remember not to put the I used to be able to upon you, right? Today is a new day and your body needs what it needs. So listen, go slow and then feel that deep, full breath. Two more here. One more. Inhale to come back onto all fours. Let's take five cat cows. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tail, lift your heart. Exhale, lift your belly. Two. Exhale. Three. Full your breath. Exhale. Four. Empty that out. Last one. Exhale. Flatten your toes. Have a seat back on your heels. Rest your eyes, rest your hands in your lap. Thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like a longer class with me, more options, please join me at yogieden.org. Namaste.